years older than the sixth ranked Russian Alexander Volkov. Volkov is three inches taller at six feet seven inches tall, but the reach is the same, 80 inches on each side. Let's get it back inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell Jr., Executive Director Bob Bennett. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Salvia Mato, Junichiro Camillo, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Jason Herzog. Now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, it's time for rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 32 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the number 6 ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Alexander Dragovolkov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 47 wins, 18 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 255 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the former Strike Force heavyweight champion and the number five ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Alistair, the Demolition Man, Overeem! Fighters gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you, Blue. There were no final questions from you, Red. You've already touched gloves. Come out, ready to fight. Jason Herzog giving the final instructions for Alistair Overeem and Alexander Volkov. Volkov minus 190, he's the favorite tonight as the sixth ranked fighter out of the blue corner against the fifth ranked legend that is Alistair Overeem who's plus 170 as the underdog. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by the U.S. Army. Five possible rounds, two large men in the small 25 inch octagon. Wow. Volkov knew that Overeem would do this, right? Shell up on the, on the edge whenever you pressure him. Alistair being a southpaw will allow for Volkov to throw those snap kicks that he used against Walt Harris so effectively. This fight had been on the radars of each of them. It was scheduled back in April of 2019 when the UFC headed to Russia. But Volkov unable to make the date there. A couple of years later, here they are. Volkov admitting he was a fan of the fellow European in Overeem on his way up. Now it's just an opponent. Overeem out of the Netherlands, but now trains in Colorado, high elevation, at team elevation to get ready for his fights. You've seen Volkov improve in the time that he's been in the UFC. He came as a guy that was a world champion before, and he's gotten better as he's fought better competition here in the UFC. And I mean, when they're this big, right, it's three, four steps back, and they're against the side of the octagon. That doesn't take much. Oh, big crack from Overeem. Overeem looking for one big, huge shot. Oh, and another one. They are. You see the power. When, you, when he does throw, you see the power, and you see a big difference in the way that it lands. Volkov took that, but now he's backing up instead of just walking Overeem down. Two power hitters like this. This is a sweaty palm, hold your breath type of affair, especially early on here. Two minutes in. There he is. 
Overing trying to force a clinch. Volkov able to escape. Nice jab there by Volkov. Oh, another one. Volkov heavy on that pressure. And Alistair just meeting him with the left hand. He will mix in some takedowns. That's the evolution of Alistair. But the question is, when will he go for it, really? Alistair's landed that overhand left a few times. But instead of throwing it to the neck and hitting the chin of Volkov, he's hitting him on the top of the forehead. Up high on the forehead, you can take that. But if Alistair Overeem hits you with one of those shots on the chin, you're going to sleep. Each fighter patient. How often do we see this? Oh, quick uppercut from Overeem. So you see it, especially in the heavyweight division, when each guy knows the power that his opponent carries. The consequences are too dire. They're too dire to just go forward and try to make a guy fight you right away, especially when they're fresh. It only takes one. Oh, counter left for Volkov. Overeem's down. He's hurt. And now hammering away. Overeem covered up, but now escapes. Power yeah. shots exchanged. I'm not sure if that dropped him yeah, or he if he slipped. slipped on that one, to be honest. But it, it looks like nice he might have slipped. Yep. Overeem keeping the guard high. That jab finds a home from Volkov. Big moment for the Russian in the early going. Could help Overeem to get those fakes going. But he's really just backing up. Volkov feels it. Volkov starting to unload. Big knee. Beautiful knee there by Volkov. And now he mixes in the kicks. Firing the left so as he punches long. back to the center. He already, popped, he already popped Alistair hard in that nose. You can see Alistair yep. trying to keep it together. He got him with a good jab. It's when you start trying to explode into over him, he gets that high shell guard, and it's hard to find that shot. But if Volkov takes his time and continues to pop that big jab, that jab is powerful. It's from a six foot seven guy. And look at the size of Volkov's legs. This is a massive man. He like pull, Alistair's like pulling him one way or the other and then shooting a left to one side. It's not typical striking. Like you're seeing Volkov, it looks more fundamental. Starting to split the guard here. Staying Just busy. Unloading. He should go to the body zone. Oh, he's got him busted open now. Able to circle out to the left. Final seconds of round number one. Round two coming up. So, good. Hey. Come sit down. Face the wall, face the fence, face the fence, face the fence. Deep breath. Deep breath. When you're first, when you're first, when you're, first you're winning the exchanges. It's when you wait too long, right? Your timing is there. You have his timing. When you're first, you have it. Yep. Deep. Deep breath. There you go. Good. Heart rate coming down. Heart rate coming down. Good job. Breathe. Once you get to that body lock, just step one more time. Step one more time so you're behind it. You went a little early after the body lock. Keep driving through. You can't just zag that fast. Okay? Let's commit to getting him on the floor. Okay. Let's go. 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 Look at Alistair Overeem as he gets set for the second round. A little bit of damage on the bridge second of the round. nose. A little bit of damp blood ready? dripping from Fight. the nose. Volkov having an impressive first five minutes of this one. Yeah, okay, Overeem's going to have to change something here. He cannot stay at the edge of Whoa. Volkov's punches. He is busted yeah. up early. You can't just sit and let Volkov unload on you. you got to be first on Volkov, as you can see. Volkov's been having to deal with people shooting on him his whole career. Now he doesn't have to deal with that. You're seeing him let his hands go and his legs go, and it's another animal. He, is, he looks good, man. This is the best that we, we've Whoa. seen Volkov look. He is busting over him up with that jab and that straight right hand. Obviously, Volkov is staring down the damage that he's done. Starting to really put it, to, put it together. Knows the game plan's working, but Overeem said he wouldn't be, uh, don't be surprised if he grapples him a little bit. And that's where Overeem has gotten better. 
He's done a better job of securing takedowns in these fights. Don't, don't forget, though, Volkov has gotten better, too. Like I said, every guy he's tried to fight so far coming up this ladder yep. has tried to take him down, and he has adjusted, and we're seeing it right now with Volkov. He's got a lot more confidence. His hands and his feet are going. He usually doesn't throw as offensive as he is in this fight. Well, because, again, that takedown threat's not so strong, like you said, Cruz. And so we're getting to see Volkov on full display in this matchup. Oh, wobbles him with the one-two. What a right hand there by Volkov. Volkov staying patient, but knows he's got a window open here. Oh, oh he gets another one. Oh, oh, oh. Back it up. Overeem's hurt bad. Overeem's hurt bad. It's about over here. I mean, he's, he's got a big oh, overhead oh, right. Look at how bloody he is. Oh, Volkov just... Volkov is just... That, that right hand is just so straight and good. Laser precision from Volkov and another shot here from Overeem. Punches like that will turn anyone into an NCAA champ real quick. <laughs> I mean, when Volkov is just teeing off on you, the one thing I wish he would do is when he gets over him hurt, just one big body shot because over him, his hands are so high when Volkov hurts him. Oh, oh and another that's one. it. That's going to do it. it. Alexander Volkov. Wow. Statement Goodness. made. Say hello to a new heavyweight wow. contender Goodness. in the top five. Oh, man, look at his face. The power is just on another level oh with these heavy, new heavyweights, DC. It's no. like insane. Yes, <laughs> and then there's Alexander Volkov power. Holy cow. Yo, yo. Good to see the respect there. Masterful performance from Drago. Well, you saw it, Dom. His confidence just built throughout the fight. Once he started landing in that first round, second round, he picked up right where he left off. I mean, the one-twos were this tail in this matchup. They just split the guard of Alistair, then these uppercuts and the hooks. The hook is what dropped him several times, but the one-twos open him up, get him to shell, and then from that shell, you see he just splits right in, right around the guard of Overeem. That's the difference with those little tiny four-ounce gloves compared to big K1 12-ounce gloves. It's just different, and you see it in this fight. Alexander Volkov back-to-back -back victories in dramatic fashion, and in a big way. We'll hear from him. Coming up next. Get ready for UFC 258 by watching the full catalog of Kamaru Usman's and Gilbert Burns' fights on UFC Fight Pass, which boasts the largest MMA fight library in the world. Access it anytime, anywhere from your computer, smartphone, tablet, or smart TV. Sign up today and start streaming the best of combat sports history. Alexander Volkov with his biggest win. To make it official, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alexander Drago Volkov. 22 knockouts.